welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new my name is lauren today's saturday morning i am just now heating up some chipotle we had chipotle last night for dinner so i'm heating it up right now I'm getting a tree a christmas tree today but my sister gave me her crimper and i wanted to try it out and do something new but i don't know if i just need to get it down but i just i want it to be like just big waves not look like this and i brushed it out too so maybe it's just gonna take some trial and error but this is this is how it turned out i don't know maybe we'll look better tomorrow i, I don't know Okay, we just got home, just got a Christmas tree. I don't know why Christmas trees are so expensive. Fake ones, but they are. We almost got um, a real one. Just made more sense to get a fake one, so we're gonna pop it out of the box. Let's go outside We can hang out on the beach without freezing Yeah, isn't that amazing? In Christmas times We'll be chilling and having a good, good time con about this vacuum is trying to get it in a central location to pick up stuff because this tree shed a little bit and it took so long to fluff it all up but here's our tree Aaron got me this mahogany balsam candle if you've been watching me for a little while you know that I love the high intensity mahogany teakwood candle i'll show you i have three of them so good and they smell up the whole entire apartment you don't even need to have them lit for too long to smell up the whole entire room for the holiday season they have a mahogany balsam one it smells like a christmas twist of the mahogany teakwood which is kind of like um more of a manly scent like a cologne smell um but it smells really good this is actually probably tops the mahogany teak wood in my opinion and there's so many great reviews on it as well please pick it up it's so good you won't be disappointed so we just went to target and got ornaments because christian actually couldn't wait, couldn't wait until um next weekend he just wanted to get it finished so um so i'm gonna decorate this and we also my mom always put ribbons on the top of trees. I don't know if you guys are like this too, where your parents always just put ribbons on top. 
but I just like the ribbon idea, so I'm just gonna tie this in a bow and put it on top. Little tip two is we're just, I just bought a blanket for the tree skirt, and then once Christmas is done, <laughs> You could just use the blanket around the house. I figured why not just get like a blanket. You can get any color you want. We just got white. It's going to be like snow. So I'm going to start decorating the tree now with all of our ornaments. We just got silver. Just wanted it to be like all one color, but there's some different types of ornaments in there as well. No, he wouldn't miss this in Christmas times. Okay, this is how the tree turned out. I don't, <laughs> oh, it looks even worse on, on the camera. I don't think I'm gonna keep the bow. It took me way too long to figure out how to do this bow. I literally just shot my face. I think we're gonna get another strand. What is it called? Strand of lights to go out here. Christian accidentally got the green ones, and I like the white ones because our balcony railing, uh oh, because our balcony railing, thank you, is white, and he was about to mix strand colors with white and green, mix them, but no, that's not gonna happen. But anyways, so I'm gonna get one with white and probably add it to it because I think it's missing another one. I think it needs another one. I don't know. But yeah, here's the tree. I think I might I might stare at the bow too long and take it off. I don't know. And we have this candle. Um, the mahogany balsam candle going since our tree is fake. But it looks so cute. Hi, it's the next day. Um, I just got in my car. I'm dropping off. So the story was is that we were supposed to be borrowing. So this tree back here is not the tree that we have up. Um, but we borrowed originally my um, dad's girlfriend's tree. We were originally borrowing hers and then we were plugging it in, setting it up and the center lights of the tree didn't work. Dusty. What about the rest of it? Where's the plug? Right here. So we were gonna go buy just like some lights and then just kind of work them in because it was a pre-lit tree. And then we just said, you know what, let's just go buy our own tree. So we just went and bought our own tree and ornaments and everything like that. So I'm gonna give this, I'm gonna drop this off at my dad's house and then um, that way she can just do whatever she wants with that. I don't know if she wants to throw it out or um, just hold on to it. I don't really have any plans for today. Um, I didn't touch my hair. I just kind of brushed it and I used like a soft brush on the top to kind of like tone it down. But I didn't even touch it like other than brushing it. Crimper is not bad. Yeah, all I did was brush it. So I thought that was 
cool how I really didn't have to do anything to my hair. My gosh, there's just a bunch of baby raccoons. Where's their mom? come on here and said anything all day I just went to the store and meal prepped my meals for the week and now I'm debating it's like five o'clock almost and now I'm debating on going to the gym Christian's in the other room watching football I kind of just want to go run watch a YouTube video come back shower do a face mask I kind of want to do like a pore cleansing face mask um right here it's kind of like a little bad and i think it's from wearing a mask but um so i think i'm gonna do that Let's change go to the gym i just changed for the gym and i just wanted to say that i love these aloe yoga biker shorts for working out they stay up they're high-waisted they stay up during the whole entire workout they're not super breathable so keep that in mind, but I'll link these down below. They're so good. I mentioned them in a, a try-on haul so long ago, but they're so good. I love them. I just put on this face mask it's by peter thomas roth super good to do every once in a while so i put this mask on with one of these silicone brushes if you don't have one of these you need them they're so cheap on amazon i'll link one down below or a few i think they come in a pack of a few you definitely need it it makes it so easy to put on masks especially masks that are mud masks i'm just gonna leave this on for like 10 minutes i don't really follow the rules on hydrating masks but mud masks and more intense masks i definitely follow the recommended time but for hydrating masks i just leave it on for like 30 40 minutes way too long sometimes but these fall okay rules. i'm making pasta for dinner we like this protein pasta this penne pasta it's really good this meat sauce i'm gonna put um garlic in with the sauce and then a bunch of spinach with the sauce as well, and that will be dinner.